Hi guys, this is David, and I thought I would give you a quick update on the uh, the back uh, hydroponic um, deck. Um, as you can see, everything is growing crazy. Um, I'll give you a little bit of what we have here. Let's see. It goes all the way back over here. Remember when we started, this was just a, a unused deck, and we put some paper down, and we put lots of plants. Okay, we're going to start from the back. This is the, uh, the beans that we planted. Um, they're planted in soil, and um, you can see they're doing real well. They actually have some flowers on them, which means that we will soon have beans. This little packet is... Um, what uh, some um, their beneficial aphids actually came in. Um, we also have a little packet in there of um, praying mantis, which is kind of cool. Um, then we have a pot of garlic, which I know that's way over planted. And then over here, oops, sorry, we have uh, tomato plants and the beta buckets. I moved the beta buckets out of the the place I had them in and basically it's just going drip to waste now um, so that I could get everything on the same system. These are sweet bell peppers and they're doing quite nicely. Um, this is a cucumber plant and if we pull the leaves back you can see that right in there those are buds which will also have little cucumbers on them. Alright moving up here and of course all that stuff was uh, hydroponic in a combination of either coconut uh, core or choir or uh, perlite and choir. And this is uh, spearmint. And these uh, spearmint plants, of course, they grow like weeds. Maybe they are weeds. Um, and that's in soil. Pots. And here we have some cilantro in some soil. And another cucumber plant. And lots and lots of tomatoes. This is my uh, potatoes grown in a container. Unfortunately, I never did get around to putting enough dirt in it, so I'm not sure how many potatoes we're going to end up with. But um, they're almost ready to, to harvest. As soon as this stuff starts to die back, then you uh, dig it up. This was that little tomato plant that I got from um, Home Depot. And it's a cherry tomato, and you can tell. Well, maybe you can't tell. This thing is pretty darn big. Um, there's my hand. And it goes all the way up to there. This I grew from seed. I'm very proud of it. I believe this is a beef master, um, one of the beef steak tomatoes, uh, and then I have a bunch of plums, and all of these have very nice little um, buds in them, so we should be getting tons of tomatoes. This is parsley, again uh, grown in a pot from seed, and it was grown in soil. And all right, that kind of gives you an update of. Uh, the old deck that we turned into a hydroponic plant uh, garden. And you can see we got tons of uh, plants. Oh, and this is uh, basil, sorry. This was a, uh, it's a floating garden. Um, they're doing real well. Uh, we actually harvested them today, so this was twice as big. And you can see they're all there. And it's so simple to grow. And check out the, the roots. Isn't that cool? Basically, it's just a bunch of basil floating on some styrofoam in a nutrient solution. All right, guys. Talk to you later.